Hi kids, it's Mr. Larry again, and today I've got a story about polar bears and penguins. Now there's some things about them that are the same, and some things about them that are different. The places we li they live are different, but some of the things about them are the same. Hmm, let's think about that as we go through. This is kind of like a bit of science and a bit of what you might say is geography. Hmm. Different places in the world, different animals that live there. Well, let's take a look. Polar bears and penguins, a compare and contrast book. That means we're going to find out what's the same, compare, and what's different, contrast. Okay, the author is a lady named Catherine Hall. She wrote the book. We don't really have an illustrator. We have a whole bunch of photographers some really neat photographs in this book. So let's go ahead and take a look. Polar bears live in the Arctic in the Northern Hemisphere. Hmm, there are some words you've got to remember. The Arctic, that's the cold part of the world. If you look down in the corner of the picture, there's a picture of the world looks round, okay, and an arrow pointing up at the top of it. That's the Arctic. And you see the red line that goes across the middle, the equator. And way up at the top, that's the Arctic. It's from that red line all the way up to the top. That's the northern hemisphere. Hemisphere is a fancy word that means half of a ball. So we're in the northern half of the world in this picture. But penguins live in the Southern Hemisphere. Some penguins live in the water around Antarctica. They come onto land to lay eggs and raise their young. Boy, there's great photographs in this book. And if you look down on the corner of the page again, there's another picture of the world as we might see it from outer space. So, and there's an arrow pointing at the bottom. That's Antarctica. That's the southern hemisphere, the southern half of the world, of the globe. Yeah. And look at the penguins. Wow. The Arctic is an ocean surrounded by continents. Sea ice floats on the water. So up here at the top by the North Pole, it's mainly water with ice floating on it. Less ice all the time, I'm afraid. And there's the polar bear. It lives on the ice and swims in the water. Hello, polar bear. Antarctica is a continent surrounded by oceans. Ice and snow cover the land. So down here, it's not water, it's land, and the land is covered with snow. And look, there's tracks leading down to the penguins. You think they were playing in the snow there? What do you think? Polar bears are covered in fur. Hmm. He's got snow on his fur. Maybe it's she. Whoa, penguins are covered in feathers. Looks like this penguin is having a bad hair day. Wow. No fur, just feathers for these guys. A polar bear is a type of bear. Here's some of the other bears. There's a black bear. There's a giant panda bear. There's a grizzly bear. There's a sloth bear, my goodness. A sun bear. Oh, and look, there's our friends, the polar bear, with a little bear cub. Oh, ho.
there are many different types of penguins. The African penguin, the emperor penguin, the Adelaide penguin. Oh, there's the guy with the bad hair day, rock hopper penguin. There's the little penguin. He's grown up, but he's still pretty little. And look there at the bottom is the yellow-eyed penguin. Hmm. Polar bears roam alone or in small groups of a mother and her young cubs. So here's a family out hunting, I'll bet you. Penguins gather in giant colonies that can number in the hundreds or thousands. My goodness, so many penguins, not like polar bears at all. So many together. Up in the Arctic, December occurs during winter and in darkness. And sometimes there's northern lights like that in the sky. And it's dark all day and all night. There isn't any daylight for a while. It's night for a long time. Down in Antarctica, December occurs during summer and in sunshine. And the snow is melting back. Look at that. And it's light all day and all night. It doesn't get dark for a while. It stays light for a long time. Polar bears and penguins live at opposite ends of the earth. So we've seen some things that are the same and the things that are different. Hmm. Oh, and here's some things you can come back to. You can compare some things. You can contrast some things. What's the same about the penguins and the polar bears? And what's different about them? This talks about seasons and polar mammals. A year at the poles, the North Pole, the South Pole. Hmm, lots of stuff to think about. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And you might want to go back and think about it some more. Make your comparisons. Contrast them. See what's the same, what's different. Whoop, hello, bear. <laughs> and until I see you again, you take good care. Study hard. Have a lot of fun. See you soon. Bye-bye.